Don't feel. I'm putting my neck on the line for all of this. Right now, as we speak, I can't expose myself because if I do, they'll come for her. I'm sure they're locking their ass everywhere looking for her. I'm only doing this to keep my friend around. I need her to get well soonest because I need to get back to class. Deborah, you're indeed a brave and courageous girl. And you will be rewarded handsomely for this, if not for anything, for saving a life. You've done well. I'll have to inform the school authority about this, and if possible, her parents. Okay? Yeah. All right. Do take care. You're a star, yeah. that's just who you are Shine bright like a diamond, I'm living up in the sky I've got all it takes, I'm not giving up I'm going straight to the top And I'm never ever gonna lose my strength I was gonna, yeah. gonna make me frown, flying like an eagle That's why I'm so in a shine I saw. I had to quickly rush her to the clinic. You mean before you arrived the scene, the person who hit her must have played off already? Yes, Dad. Who do you suspect could have done this? A student or an outsider? I don't really know. I can't tell. Uh, doctor, uh, the most important thing is uh, Naomi is safe. And every other details will be unfold sooner or later. And as for you, Deborah, I I want to thank you for being there for your friend. Thank you, sir. And I must confess, uh, you are far better than a failed wife. What do you mean by that? You must be very- Excuse me, ma. This is not the right place or time for this. But did you hear what he said to me? He wasn't talking to you. How would you know he wasn't talking to me? Did I mention your name? Anyway, I don't blame you. You men are all the same. You must be very unreasonable to have said that in that office back there. Are, are you okay? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Your maids are out there, busy attending to your families. Shebi, you are busy running after your divorce paper. You must be a shame to womanhood. You are a shameless man. And may God forgive your stupidity. Is that... May God forgive your stupidity. Are you insane? Nonsense. Are you insane? Good evening, Ma. Good evening, Michelle. How are you? I'm sorry. I don't want anything to happen to my best friend. 
Nothing is going to happen to her. She'll be fine. But why would anyone do this to her? Who did she offend? Who did she annoy? Why? Naomi of all people is very, very peaceful. I don't know why people are so heartless. Indeed. You can say that again. Because despite all she's going through with her health challenges and someone would do this to her, it's unthinkable. Oh. Okay, go back to the hostel. I'll be back shortly. Let me go pick up some things for her. Okay, ma. Okay, bye. There, so high on the mountain top, where my hands could touch the sky and the world would see my light. I will swim deep oceans, I will run through the valley to my light, my bright blue light. Oh, my heart won't be weary, and my eyes won't be teary. Say no to face obstacles. There is fire in my songs, in my spirit, go wings, guns, you more feet. Fly above bridges, oh, oh, oh. I will bad energies. Stay strong until I win. No, no matter what comes, no matter what comes, yeah, I will always be. How are you? Who are you? It's me, Deborah, your friend. Deborah. Yes, Deborah. Don't you remember me? I can't remember you. Wait, what's the last thing you remember? Uh, I can't remember anything. You don't remember who hit you or anything about the incident? Naomi. Doctor. You're up already. How are you feeling? Feelings. I can't seem to remember anything. What you're experiencing is known as amnesia. It's a short-term loss of memory. What? Don't panic. It's not that bad. Is she going to be all right? Certainly. Your parents were here earlier, and I think they will be back any moment from now. Just take your rest, okay? I'll be in my office in case you need me. Please do take care of her, okay? Life's hurt. I need to get strong. I feel like I'm now breathing and lost in my own fears. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm perfect in my own way. You feel the work is easy, then come out here and try some. Haters out, they don't want to see you winning. They criticize your work and you feel like you ain't trying. Don't be disturbed, I bet you that's jealousy making. They're hating, we keep you moving, stand strong, I mean no shaking. Critics in the air, rumors are everywhere. A lot of snitches and gender scorpions are everywhere. I don't know my brother no more, nigga put a mask. I gotta watch my back, cause backstabbers will always strike back. Don't blame me when I said I left them. They always say shit that make me lose. God, I had to be. Uh, Nami, don't worry, you'll be fine. This old amnesia thing is gonna go off very soon. And once you're back with your friends, everything is gonna be fine. Uh, madam, she'll be fine. In a short while, she's going to regain her memories, okay? Thank God, at least she's not dead. I know she'll be fine. Okay. Thank you very much. So, how is the wound? Still feeling pains? Don't worry, it's going to be fine, okay? Uh, you have a visitor from the regional competitions. I think she has something for you. I'll be in my office. 
to my office. Hello, Naomi. Oh, I'm glad you're getting better. Sorry, okay? I'm here to tell you that you've been selected to represent your school at the upcoming regional school competition. So your flight ticket and every other thing you'll be needed has been handed over to your school. So get well soon and I'll see you there. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, baby, I'm so proud of you. Now me, Michelle. She's the one. Now me. She hit me. Now me. Now. She's the one. Michelle, what is she talking about? She hit me. What did you do? She's the one. Baby. What are we doing here? This place is so lonely. Relax, Naomi. You worry too much. Well, I brought you here for two reasons. First, I want to apologize for the recent breakups. A lot has been going through my head. I'm sorry. Michelle, you're my best friend. I hold nothing against you. Second thing. You. Me? How? I brought you here to kill you now. <laughs> what do you mean you brought me here to kill me? Is this a joke? This is not a joke now. First, you took Felix away from me. Do you know how long I've been crushing on him? <laughs> Let's not even go there. You took my shine and became a superstar in everything. You deserve to die now, me. Michelle, you had all this in your heart against me. And yet you pretended to be my best friend. I hate you. Oh, shut up. Spare me that. In a few days, the organizers of the regional competition will be here to give you a ticket. Something I have aspired for. Believe me, I can't let this happen no more. The time is over. What is it again? Michelle. It's okay. You'll be fine. You remember what the doctor said? It's going to be okay. Yes, Naomi. Those shock reoccurring memories is just helping you understand yourself around us. Hmm. Sorry, dear. You'll be fine. Everything will be alright, okay? You'll be fine. <sighs> Mommy, I think... She needs to get her hair done. She looks unkempt. Yes, that's true. She looks awful. I think we'll do that tomorrow morning. We'll go to the salon to, to make sure she has her hair done. We took it there. Good morning. Good morning. Felix, what kind of hair is this? It feels I just tinted my hair. It's what I like. And besides, I'm on holiday. You just tinted your hair. It's what you like. And besides you're on holiday. Well done. 
so that your own holiday have now given you the license to turn yourself into a madman, I guess. How do you think people would see you when, they, when, when, they, when you come out with this kind of hair? And what kind of name do you, are you trying to bring to the family? For Tante Fuse, there's nothing wrong with my hair. Oh. We're in the 21st century and everyone is entitled to his or her rights and opinions. Besides, people do a whole lot of bad things with their good looks. You see? It is this your stubborn behavior that makes me hate you around me. I told your mom, I told my sister that I don't want to have you in my house because of this stubbornness. What did she say? She says, a short holiday? You'll be back to school in a short while? There's only coming back to Potter Court. Sometimes I wonder how I'm going to cope with this stubborn behavior of yours. God! You see, they use this your comb. Yeah, I leave my comb, Jare. By the way, have you seen Felix DP on WhatsApp? The one with tinted hair. Come on, sir. I've seen it already. I've seen it. Who does that? Hold on. You know, Madame Philomena is his auntie, our own principal. Obviously. Can you go back to school with this hair? I can't. I can't go back with this hair. Uh, but he tinted his hair and he's in the same house with our principal. I don't see anything bad there. That's not good morals, bro. Yes, hello. Felix, please, have you heard from Naomi? I've been calling her, but she's not answering. Are you insane? Are you normal? Oh, you want to confirm if her suffering from amnesia has led to her being demented, eh? I know I've made the biggest mistake of my life, and you have every right to say whatever you feel about me. But I'm deeply sorry. My conscience is killing me. I sincerely regret my actions. So, you expect me to believe all this? I'm not saying that, but perhaps if I should, I know you won't believe me. But please, just tell me how Naomi is doing, Felix. What are you doing? Isn't it mannerless to barge into someone else's room without knocking? Why are you reacting? Hey, you only came in when I heard you shout on the phone. Oh, I see. Now I am overreacting, huh? So how would you explain barging into my room without knocking? Okay. Tell me, how would you explain that? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So who was that on the phone? That was Mitchell. I had to quickly rush her to the hospital. Hey, that was all I saw. <laughs> that was all I saw. Wait, 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 Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was shocked. She don't shock you. I know you were Pick up. Okay. Action. What are you doing then? She will close the door. Yes. COP. I don't know the audience. What's up now? What's up? 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 What's
King from the smitty, you can see I'm the hardest I'll tell you, can't count all the times I was beaten and broken Came from the ground and the rocks and shaped Deep in the molten fire and straight in my heart My soul and my spirit are broken and bended like pottery They thought it was sorcery, came from dirt They called me filthy, well I was glitching But only my maker could see this I was refined by the vine and I came to the light See the stars in the sky were jealous my light when my light hits the cloud, it could blind your sight. So to recite my rhymes like I'm Shakespeare, piercing through your soul with my words when I'm not there. And the dance that was made was a favorite, I can't tell. The act, the story, that was the talent. It gave me a purpose regardless the setbacks. It pardoned my boat through the storm and the rain. On the troubled sea, I wouldn't accept the feet. It was my pride, my talent, a shoulder to lean on. Everything I was to lean on. Let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine I'm gonna let it shine Yeah. Uh-huh.